What's going on everyone, it's Zcash here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your PS5 to your computer via remote play. I'll also be showing you guys a video on how to connect your PS5 to your mobile device also via remote play but I'll be uh, most likely posting that video later on, most likely once I'm done with this video. So if this video, if that video is out, I'll put it in the description below in the link and I'm going to show the link in the description below. If I haven't posted that video, then hit that subscribe button and click that notification button so you're notified of whenever I upload that video. But anyways, let's get into this video right now. So first things first, you're just going to go on Google. As you can see, I already searched remote play. Just search remote play on Google. Then you're going to click the second link right here, which is uh, right there, remote play. It'll bring you to the PlayStation store. Then you scroll all the way down here. And yeah, as you can see, you can also download this on Android and iPhone, but we're not going to go for this. I'm going to show you guys this on another video, but you're going to go all the way here and download on Windows and Mac download. So Windows PC and Mac download. So you're going to click on this. Then it shows right here. So you could, you do you want to control your PS4 console or PS5? We're doing it for PS5. So we're going to click control your PS5 from a Windows PC. I do not have a Mac PC, so I won't be able to show how to set it up on a Mac PC, but I do have Windows PC, so we're going to click on this. Then you're just going to scroll all the way down here, and it's going to show you, like, what do you need on your computer to run. Basically, remote play. So I'm just going to click Agree and Download. So once it downloads, we're going to start this up. Yes. And there you go. All right. I thought something happened to my PC. <laughs> United States. Okay. Now it's extracting the file, it's just downloading it. Next. And where I'm install, uh, installing it, so next and install. So we're just gonna wait for it to install if it takes time. Oh no, that was fast, okay. So it already installed. Uh, hold up, let's launch it. And there you go, it is launched. So. For me, I believe because I had PS4 remote play before and I may have gotten... The, yeah, so I already got my old settings here. So what you're going to most likely have to do is go on the settings tab and just sign in with your PSN account. Once you do that, you're basically perfect. You're just going to use the same PSN account you had on your... Basically, you have on your PS5 that and you sign it on your PC on that. And there you go. So you, as me, my PSN account already signed in there. And then you can do the video quality. I'm going to change it to 1080p. Resolution 1080p high and let's see check the well this PC is going to display that supports well I don't think so my PC supports HDR so I can't connect I can't do that and there you go so you're gonna click okay then you're gonna go into PS5 before connecting your PS5 to use remote play enable it on your PS5 connecting to first so let me see if i've done that and also you guys also do this too so you just go on the ps5 setting system remote play i'm actually going to show you guys that right now so let me show you guys that right now all right guys so i'm on my ps5 right now so you go to settings which is up there then system and remote play which is right here and yep i didn't enable remote play so I just enabled it right now and there you go now let's go back on the PC alright guys so we changed the settings on the PS5 we enabled remote play so now let's go into here and connect the PS5 to the computer via remote play so now it's connected to your PS5 check your network and there you go guys easy and simple let me full screen this and there you go PS5 is officially connected via remote play. Pretty straightforward to be honest. You just have to down first of all download the remote play from the PlayStation website. You just go on Google and search it up. Once you do that, you basically what they call sign into the PSN account that is on your PlayStation. And then make sure remote play is turned on on your PS5. And then go back to your computer and hook it up. So straightforward. If anything, it may be a little easier than how it was on the PS5. But as you can see right now, I'm controlling my PS5 on my computer. As you can see right here, I just made it smaller. And yep, it's basically controlling it on my computer. I full screened it. And yeah, but remember, you, you need a really good HD 
uh, I mean, you need a really good internet connection in order to do this. If you don't have that good internet connection, you're not going to get the best quality out of it. If you don't have that great, connect, that great internet connection, then I recommend you guys to lower your resolution to 720 or 480p. That's the best way you'll be able to record clear gameplay footage. But yes, you do need at least really great internet speeds to do this. But there you go, guys. This is how you connect with roleplay. Straightforward. And yeah. But anyways... If you guys enjoyed this video and want me to upload more PS5 videos and want like suggestions, need help on something else on your PS5, then let me know in the comments below and also hit that subscribe button. That subscribe button. Also hit that notification button to be notified of whenever I upload a new video and also hit that like button. I'll appreciate it a lot. Anyway, this has been your boy Zcash here and I'll see you guys later. Peace.